Developing news overnight. We're continuing to follow a major developing story this morning as part of an apartment building in downtown Davenport collapsed late Sunday afternoon. Jenna Jackson joins us now live from the scene with the latest. Jenna. Yeah, good morning, uh, Dustin. Obviously, here you can see behind me where that building collapsed. It's a six story apartment building. Now, the collapse occurred on the west side of the building, so closer to the Harrison Street side, but this is at 324 Main Street in downtown Davenport. Now, you can see the scene here around me very active at this moment. Uh, crews have been working overnight into this morning uh, with search and rescue efforts. In fact, just moments ago, we saw uh, yet another dog up there searching through the rubble uh, with the search crew members uh, standing by. We saw that that dog going all over uh, the lower part where you can see all of that rubble. In fact, at this moment, I can see and I don't know if you guys can see it because he might be blocked by uh, this plastic uh, on the fence, but there is another dog on scene uh, uh, right now. Again, this is a search and rescue operation that they are doing right now. There are a lot of concerns at this point about the structural integrity of this building at this time and that's something that's concerning uh, the, the officials here on scene about a secondary collapse. Uh, now what we know so far, uh, I want to give you some of the details. At about 4.55 p.m. Sunday, the call came in for this partial collapse. At this time, details of exactly what caused this collapse are not known at this time. Now we know initially seven people were rescued from the collapse um, and treated on scene. They did set up a, a unit here where uh, people could be treated for injuries. They were treated on seen other people in the other parts of this building have all been evacuated um, at this time. Uh, however, the number of unaccounted for uh, people in the people, the exact number of people who are injured is not known at this time. There have been no confirmed fatalities to us at this point either. So those are all questions that we still have. Uh, now, yesterday we spoke to people who were inside the building when this happened. In fact, we spoke to a member of a cleaning service who, who this is part of their, this is building as part of their regular uh, cleaning round and they were inside when the building started to uh, started to crumble. They heard cracks and pops and I want you to listen into what else he had to say. We heard the ceiling above us start to crack and we all I said the center of this room's coming down. We got to go. Um, we all turned around ran out of the building as the building collapsed in on on and around us. And now he told us, uh, Justin, that all of uh, his crew made it out of the building safely, and that is good news. Now, I have spoken to some people on the scene here uh, who, who have just kind of standing by and watching and waiting to see what happens. One of them has a friend who lives in the building that she has not heard from at this moment. Um, the other one, his aunt, lives in this building, and they have not been in contact uh, with her either. So they are standing by waiting to see uh, what happens. But it's a very uh, a somber mood down here. Here, as you can see, just the devastation, uh, Dustin, behind me. Back to you. Yeah, and Jenna, I want to ask you a quick question before you go. Now, we know the American Red Cross is assisting and down there with helping. Can you tell us about their efforts? Yeah, Dustin, so the Red Cross obviously was deployed immediately after this happened. They set up a reunification point at St. Anthony's Church, which is, is just on the other side of, of this street, of 2nd Street on the other side uh, there. And, um, excuse me, 4th Street. And um, we know that the Red Cross was helping with that reunification. Now, they also set up um, a shelter for the residents who live in this building who need now obviously are homeless and need a place to stay. Um, and that uh, shelter is at the Center for Active Seniors. So we know those efforts have been being made um, with them, and that's also a point where people, if they can't get in contact with people, can reach out to and hopefully get in contact with uh, some of their loved ones, friends, family, um, who they have not yet heard from. Dustin.